This video references events between Birth by Sleep and Kingdom Hearts 1. In the description is a link to an organized and well-supported timeline to help people better understand this era. Now that we know Zigbart is Lushu, there's something else about him I think we're missing, and we'll explore a few possibilities. But before that, let's connect and analyze three cutscenes. Cutscene 1, Apprentice Xehanort unlocking Brig's heart with no name. It takes place after Birth by Sleep. Notice Evan and Dienzo's locations and poses on the floor. Cutscene 2, Young Xehanort and Brig walk across the lab surrounded by the recompleted crew. Generally, it takes place after Coded's main story. Maybe early dream drop distance, but that's just my suspicion that's not confirmed. And cutscene 3. Axel and the others waking up as humans again, with mostly everyone in the same positions on the floor. So here is a timeline of these scenes. All three cutscenes will be linked in the description, and I suggest watching them before continuing for the context. And here is an overall layout of everyone on the floor. It's not exact since characters are nudged from cutscene to cutscene, which I assume is to compensate for distortion and framing that occurs with different camera angles. Ienzo states that when a person who lost their heart is recompleted, they should return to the place where it happened. And we see this with him and Evan along with the others. Lee notices the only people present are those who first joined the organization here. He notes Xehanort doesn't count, and we will get to him later, but also that Break and Isa are missing. Since we see Isa laying next to Lee in the scene that takes place prior to this, young Xehanort and Break probably either woke up Isa or carried his unconscious body. Break, however, is unusual in this scene. Apprentice Xehanort unlocked his heart soon after Evan and Dienzo lost theirs, so he should be placed here. But by the time the scene starts, he's already up and lively. Lee got up quick too, I'll admit, but everyone else still looks unwell. Dylan and Evan even remained unstable for some time after. So Break waking long before the others and being spry so soon after waking off screen is suspicious to me. The only other person we see immediately cognizant upon restoration is Master Xehanort. But before we continue digging there, we need to clear something up. Nobody's do, in fact, age when they've regrown a heart. Lee, Isa, and Dienzo all became nobodies as children, but a decade later, still nobodies, they've grown into adults. And Ventus, while not a nobody, never grew another heart, and thus his empty body remained the same age. And notice that when Lee, Isa, and Dienzo are recompleted, they're still adults. Their bodies did not reset to the childish ages they were prior to becoming nobodies. Because of this, I believe Dylan is a model inconsistency. Staff probably thought his younger appearance looked similar enough to his older one, and that no one would notice if they just reused his birth by sleep design completely. But honestly, if you think something else was going on with him, I'd love to hear it. But for now, I hold on to the notion that someone's age is usually maintained when they're recompleted as human. The true exceptions to this rule are Master Xehanort and Terra. They both reset to the ages they originally were before Xehanort possessed Terra. Terra doesn't look older like Xemnas, and Xehanort doesn't look like this. What? Both Mickey and Xehanort even address this anomaly. Atom and Xemnas originated from Terra, or rather his young form, and it too was restored. So now that we've covered the foundations for this video, we can move forward. Theory 1. Briggs' model is a simple error. This is what we initially assume, not thinking too much about it. And maybe it's still correct. At some point around or before Birth by Sleep, Lushu possesses the man we call Brig. Post-Birth by Sleep, Brig becomes a nobody. In Kingdom Hearts 2, Zigbar, that nobody, is defeated. 
Between coded and dream drop distance, Brig is recompleted, waking up off screen. He looks a decade younger, but we assume this is just an error. Later, during Dream Drop Distance, Zigbar becomes a nobody again, with the correct model this time, before talking to Sora. And in Kingdom Hearts 3, Zigbar fakes his fading away, thus secretly living on implicitly as a nobody. This is also stated in Kingdom Hearts 3's Ultimania, where it describes Zigbar existing as his present self, a nobody, and survives while possibly not being recompleted as a human. But this whole timeline is based on the assumption that Brake's younger model is just an error similar to Dylan. And errors are not unheard of in Kingdom Hearts. Another error is that the Heartless Machine is incorrectly activated when everyone wakes up, because this is the same map used in the flashback. But Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3 reassure us it's long deactivated by now. So for all we know, if this scene that takes place between Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3 is ever expanded upon in the future, the model used for Brag and the map of the lab may be corrected. But if I really thought that that's all there is to Brag specifically here, I wouldn't have made this video. Theory 2. Comparing Terra Xehanort and Brag Lushu. Let's list Xehanort and Terra's timeline. At the end of Birth by Sleep, Master Xehanort possesses Terra. Sometime post-Birth by Sleep, Terra Xehanort, or Terranort for short, splits into a heart and nobody. In Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, both are defeated. So by Dream Drop Distance, the Possessor, Master Xehanort, and the Possessed, Terra, are both restored individually with resets in their ages. But Terra's body was empty upon restoration, so Terranoit from Birth by Sleep time-traveled to possess him. And before being defeated, Xemnas time-traveled to the future as well. Ansem did too, but he's not as relevant to this. Based on Xehanort and Terra, we can theorize things about Lucio and Brig, so let's go over their timeline. Before or early Birth by Sleep, Lucio possesses the man we know as Brig. Post Birth by Sleep, Lushu Brig becomes a nobody named Zigbar, who later in Kingdom Hearts 2 is defeated and fades away. Now, under this theory, the possessor, Lushu, and the possessed, Brig, are like Terra and Xehanort. Both are restored individually with resets in their ages, and this would explain why we see a younger Brig. However, this theory has a lot of questions. What about the older Zigbar we see in Dream Drop Distance? The best I can guess is that he pulled the Xemnas and time traveled. He does know the rules of time travel. You were able to go back in time to just before your home became a sleeping world, only because a past version of you already existed there. And even says to Sora, But here is where I tag out. I got just a few more hoops I gotta jump through. Which, and this is a jump, could be referring to how he could time travel to Kingdom Hearts 3, since there aren't enough replicas for him to use. After all, the hoops he mentions earlier were about getting Sora to the world that never was. So we don't know what Zigbar does while young Xehanort takes the reins with Sora. But still, part of me thinks that this is a jump. But are we supposed to believe that Lushu, Brig, and Zigbar are all individually existing at this time, like Master Xehanort, Terra, and Xemnas in Kingdom Hearts 3? It does follow Terra and Xehanort's logic, but it's still a lot to take in. The only way I can make this theory more plausible is if the newly restored Lushu repossessed Brig as soon as possible. Lushu would be able to do this since he's always possessed people without a Keyblade. And it explains why we haven't seen a trace of Lushu existing on his own in modern times, and why Brig is still implied to be possessed in Recoded Secret Ending. But an inconsistency with this theory is that it implies Lushu possessed Brig only after his battle with Terra, since his restored body still has a scar and eye patch. But I personally think Brig was always possessed in Birth by Sleep, so I'd love discussion on this. This theory also contradicts Kingdom Hearts 3's Ultimania. But I've said in the past, I'm always skeptical of Ultimanias anyway, since they avoid spoiling future titles and revelations. 
This section of the Ultimania doesn't even acknowledge Zigbar as actually being possessed by Lushu in the first place, like it does Terra Xehanort. Theory 3. Young Brig Time Traveled During Dream Drop Distance, the organization did not have Vexen's replicas yet, so Ansem and Zemnis had to rely on young Xehanort's power to time travel since he can, quote, transcend time and space. In a visual sense, let's say time is a river. And young Xehanort has a small boat to escort Ansem and Xemnas. However, young Xehanort's power is limited, and that's why Master Xehanort says, We are out of time, and we must all return whence we came. The boat essentially got too heavy and started to sink. I don't want to get too deep into how Dream Drop Distance's Ultimania explains this, because I have a suspicion Dark Road may retcon the details if we see young Xehanort time travel during Dark Road. But my point is that this may be why young Xehanort was seen with younger Brig. I mean, I just don't see why else young Xehanort, the one responsible for all the time travelers, is there for Aiza, who belongs to this current time. Under this theory, if it's the younger Brig who's the time traveler, then I'm assuming he's a nobody version from post Birth by Sleep, since he refers to Lord Zemnis by name. And I only just recently noticed that he starts off in Recoded Secret Ending standing in the southwest corner of the room, which is awkwardly far from where he lost his heart and surprisingly close to the door, which to me implies he walked into the room rather than woke up in it. But even so, I honestly couldn't tell you why Brig or technically younger Zigbar in this theory, time traveled to this time, or when he returns to his own time. I do believe that young Xehanort and Zigbar are conspiring in something, since they're the only two who warn Sora of his fate and define the hearts connected to his. So that relation may come back to recorded secret ending. However, this wouldn't explain older Zigbar, and why he's not on the floor with everyone else after being recompleted. Again, if he lost his heart in this position, soon after Yenzo and Evan lost their hearts, I would think he would wake up in the same time frame as them. Well, maybe. Lucia's ability to insert or expel his heart. Lucia states in Observations Excerpt 2 that he was able to unleash his heart, cast off his body, and possess vessels all without his keyblade. Erika's heart left Terra's body without a keyblade, but even he may only be able to do this since his body was utterly destroyed by Master Xehanort using No Name. So this goes to show how powerful a being Lu Shu is. So to me, that begs the question, did Lu Shu willingly give up his heart in this scene? Did he refrain from reinserting his heart to hide this ability? Or was this ability overpowered and prevented since it was no name, a Keyblade, that unleashed his heart this time? I also once wondered if he reinserted his heart later off screen and faked becoming a nobody. But I don't think that's the case since Zigbar can still command lesser nobodies like snipers. I'm not sure what to make of Lushu's ability and how it correlates to this scene, but I still wanted to point it out. Lastly, I want to discuss the meta-importance of these main cutscenes. Like, why is the prologue to Dream Drop Distance a flashback of Xehanort's betrayal and the rise of the organization? What does this have anything to do with Dream Drop Distance? I think Nomura included this scene to show how Evan, Ienzo, and the others returned to where they were when they lost their heart, and how Zigbar should be on the floor next to them when he's not. But even more importantly, there's Recoded Secret Ending, which is just full of hints. Like Brake's connection to the No Name Keyblade, Brake knowing No Name's connection to the Ancient Keyblade War, Brake having his own independent plans, and the fact that this scene is unlocked immediately after Yen Sid reveals to Mickey that Master Xehanort will be recompleted with his original body. Plus, this scene was appended along with Maleficent talking about the Book of Prophecies. Kingdom Hearts 3 implies Maleficent thinks the book is inside the box, 
but since Darkness and Union Cross has still yet to mention the box to Maleficent, we can speculate it was Lu Xu who told her about it after writing Observations Excerpt 1. Finally, there's how 2.5 with Recoded came out three years before Bat Cover itself came out. Based on all this, it really seems like Nomura already planned Zigbar to be Lushu back in 2014, 30 years ago. So because of that, I still wonder if Briggs' younger appearance was on purpose, further emphasizing how there's still more going on than we're aware of, even if none of these theories are a perfect answer. Before Kingdom Hearts 3, I worried that I was analyzing these scenes in vain since it seemed unlikely they would be important again. But with all the recent developments in the series about Hollow Bastion and Lushu, I can't help but wonder if Briggs' younger appearance will come back to haunt us after all.